Hello and welcome to yet another Edgar Pixelates. Uh, this time I will be pixelating the uh, Icarian warrior, well, Icarian huntress swinging her weapon. So this is sort of the apex animation. Uh, there are a few other frames before and after, but this is the uh, main frame that, you know, I will need to use for uh, basing the others on. Uh, this is the same character as the first one that I pixelated, but I did not record my pixelation of her uh, the first time around, so here you'll get to see her drawn again, and a couple times I will reference back to the other image. Uh, you'll be able to see me do that and gather a few, um, like the palette colors, that sort of thing, from it. Now, even though it takes me about an hour to pixelate an image like this, uh, the sketch for the keyframe also takes uh, about an hour, hour and a half, and uh, overall the uh, frames between the keyframes do not take nearly as long, maybe another 15 minutes to a frame. So it's it's not that long for a single character, but when you think about it, there are many different characters that are going to be um, drawn, and each one with their own large number of keyframes. Uh, for this attack, there is this frame as a keyframe, and there's also her uh, moving back, ready to swing. So there is that. Then uh, on the character sheet, not only is there the ready position and then this attacking position, but there's also the getting hit, dodging, dying, sleeping, etc., etc. And each enemy will have something detailed like this. Uh, Icarians, like these, they are a tribal species of reptilian humanoids. Uh, in the game world, they are um, mostly outcast from the societies of the other species. Uh, they don't have the same emotional range and don't understand mammals quite as well as mammals would like them to. So they never really get along that well. But at, at some point there is an Icarian companion you can recruit if you feel like it. Uh, he is much later in the game though. Uh, currently I'm mostly working just on Creatures that will show up in the uh, demo version, because, you know, it would be nice to get a demo out that people can see and get information on the game that way. Alright, so here I am ensuring that her corset is, uh, you know, similar. That it is con correct to her previous stance. Because, of course, you know, same character, you're going to be seeing her move a lot, so I have to make sure that everything looks right. And, you know, even though Icarians do not have uh, the memories that mammals have, they still have these slinky buddy types, and they still want to accent them to drive the males wild. You know what I mean. Yes. Uh, let's see. I also have to make sure that the feathers come out correctly. Uh, since you are seeing her back in this image, it is not going up as high as in her front, but I still figured a few colorful feathers in the back might be good. Um, you know, just, just better than it being bare. Uh, let's see. Then we go down to the leggings. Uh, when I was doing the leggings here, I actually noticed that I forgot to shade the leggings on my original image uh, when I did it the first time. 
which I probably would not have missed that if I were recording, because, you know, when I watch again, there, there it was me noticing, uh, when I watch it again, I, I generally see when I make a mistake, and then I can fix it for the final image in the picture. Uh, speaking of mistakes, there aren't many that I noticed, at least on this picture, that uh, I corrected for the last one. Uh, there are a couple of pixels in shading that uh, were changed for her tail, but otherwise is generally uh, the same as what it started at. Uh, let's see, I end up ensuring that I'm using the same number of pixels for the length of the shaft to the Zulu Ixwa, uh, which is a little longer than the traditional Ixwa, but uh, the Icarians themselves are actually smaller than the regular characters, so you'll see a mild size difference between them and the players once uh, one of them gets the weapon and potentially equips it. Because if, if you have not been paying attention, I will mention it again, uh, every character will have their own battle sheet for each different weapon, uh, which means that, yes, you will get to see them wielding each weapon in a different stance uh, with a different pose. And the same is with armor. Although armor won't affect pose, of course, but armor will appear different on characters in combat. Uh, that is actually one of my major complaints with RPGs, is that the characters do not look different enough when they uh, change equipment. Uh, here I am having some strange difficulties with ensuring that I get the uh, blade correct, and I end up just copying it and flipping it around and uh, using it as a uh, stable reference. Really something I should have done in the first place, but did not think about it the first time, but for some reason. And here I'm creating the attack wave uh, for the Icarian. Uh, I use the color of the blade itself and just make a large moving motion, uh, which I had originally drawn out with the sketch. So there was already a guide for me to go by. Very nice. I, you know, I end up detailing it very lightly with some of the other colors, but not anything uh, really in-depth because it is a swing motion. It is not something that uh, you want to detail much, uh, mostly because it will go by fairly quickly, and that is the point. Here we go. Here is where it really starts to look more like a weapon swing. Hmm. I don't really uh, have much else to say. We are coming close to the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, if you have any uh, questions or thoughts, leave them in the comments section. And I will leave you another video next week. So this has been Edgar Kingmaker, signing off. Goodbye.